I have my doubts about that. No, no, we are not here to find the best speaker. That is exactly what Rolf Smithley said in a contest on March 8th of 1935. That words were public in uh, the Toastmaster magazine 38 years after that, in 1973. Why he start the contest? That's the question. Why? Why we have contest in Toastmasters? He realized in that 11 years from his foundation of this wonderful organization that speakers sometimes were kind of lazy to prepare their projects to present at their clubs. So he started the contest because when people is competing against each other, they tend to prepare better than is just prepared for another meeting. So he did the contest to increase the preparation of speeches so the speakers can increase or will raise the quality of their meetings. How about that? So contest and speaking in front of the people is not easy. You know that at least when you start in this organization. But how to how can we get there? We can start with asking these two questions. The first one is, do you want to get better? Do you want to do better? I think you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. That's right. Of course, all of you are eager to learn something to do better, get better, and maybe share all your knowledge and your experience with some other Toastmasters. You will have your opportunity once you create that opportunity. And the second question is, hmm, I'm not sure if you're going to answer yes to this one. Are you willing to feel the discomfort of getting better? Do you want to feel the discomfort of doing better? Maybe, I'm almost sure that most of you, yes, will answer yes. That are the two questions that we must ask to ourselves if we want to do better. But to do better, we have to feel the discomfort. And that's the reason of the requirements of the, of the PAN, of the bean, of making your bed, of making good of your hair, like me. Ah, I guess I didn't have too much trouble of that, but some of you might. So I'm going to tell you two ways of getting better. The first one is practicing, practicing and practicing. And I know this is not something different from what you have learned in Toastmaster because they always remind you, remind us about practice, practice, and practice. That's one of the ways of getting better. But what will be a second option that can combine with the first one? What will be that? I can tell you right away. Like Einstein say, do things differently. Yes, do things differently. So after witness more than 10 contests in the UK, several more in Mexico, and that so far, I realized that we can do better and I'm sure you can too. And it's very simple. It's not rocket science, 
But as I told you, you have to be willing to feel uncomfortable, to feel the discomfort of, the, of doing things differently, of shaking, of being nervous. That's okay. That's what will give you to the next step, to the next level. Let me tell you what Simona Panova of Nightmarish Sacrifice said are her words. Everybody is equally weak on the inside. Just that some present the ruins as new castles and become kings. Essentially, a good stage pulls the audience into the performance. It's the ability to make the audience connect with the performer and develop them in the story being told. Having said that, I'm going to tell you that in the following minutes, you will learn, most of you will learn, and most of you will practice these four elements in the following minutes, not tomorrow, not after that, not next month, not next week, today, in the following minutes. But in order to do that, I'm going to interact with you with your screens. And I'm going to miss some eye contact because I have to see you instead of the camera. And I'm not going to be able to see all of you because so far are 60. So for, lucky for me, not everybody has their camera on. So whoever has the camera off, I will not be able to help them do better. But if your camera is not working, don't worry. You can see what others are doing because I'm going to ask you to feel uncomfortable, to feel the discomfort of getting better. And remember the quote that I used to start this presentation, especially the second, use what you have. I asked for some items, but could be a carton box, could be a chair, could be a stand, a stand table, could be anything. This, the principal requirement, besides the attitude, the positive attitude is creativity. So I'm going to ask you again, are you willing to feel the discomfort of getting better? Yes, some people say yes, of course. That's the reason you're here. We'll see that. Now, before, I start with these four elements that we're going to combine and work almost in the same time. But just remember, four elements, but we're going to combine it because it's impossible not to do that. It's like a soup. You have to put some ingredients and taste it all at the same time. So I would lo love you that you enjoy the soup that we are going to make together. I hope will be really nice, tasteful. Forget my English, forget my accent, but concentrate on the message, not the messenger. This is not important. The important thing is the message. And here we go. Are you ready? Yes, thank you, Nick, and everybody, Annie. Okay, first element, background, background. That's the first element, background. And here I'm going to tell you a couple of things about the background. The first, that Toastmaster International recommends not to use in a contest or if you present in your club, or if you have a presentation at your work, obviously Toastmaster International refers to contests, but I, will, I want you to wide the spectrum 
of these possibilities of looking good, not just to looking good in front of the camera, so the message can get through the audience. So background is the first one, and the Toastmaster International recommends not to use virtual backgrounds. I'm going to use many of the examples I have on the screen. Let's start with our lovely Toastmaster, Antonia. When she show up some of the items on the screen, could you do that again, Antonia? See what happens. Move it and ah, disappear. Yes, thank you. That's the problem of using virtual backgrounds. Sometimes if we have a headphones, this part can be white. For example, Plavani Chankar, could you move? Yeah. Uh, you don't have speakers, but sometimes we look funny when we have background, visual backgrounds. Sometimes we disappear on the screen. So it is a recommendation, it's not a rule, it is a recommendation not to use them when you present. If you are attending a meeting and you're going to be a table topic speaker, eh, that's okay, you can do it with virtual backgrounds, you can do it seated, comfortable, with a glass of wine or water, whatever you want, it's not a problem. But when you're presenting, it's different. So I encourage you to avoid virtual backgrounds. Also, because visual backgrounds consume more internet and that what it happened is lower the quality of your video and maybe also of your audio. That's the reasons why we don't have to use, we, why they suggest not to use virtual backgrounds. Now, second, and here we'll start the action. I, I am not expecting you to be bored or sleep in your seat. Now, you will have to move. You will have first to stand. And I'm going to do the example. So I'm not going to ask you for anything I am not willing to do. So I have this background that is, uh, as you can see, it moves. It's not virtual background. I have here my window. And all that has a meaning why we don't must use this kind of backgrounds because it distract. So what is what Toastmaster recommends? Something kind of plain, something even. So are you ready to move? Let's start my, by myself. I'm disconnecting my computer and I'm going to show you a couple of things here. So I'm going to ask you, are these a right background? It is even? What can you tell me? Yes or no? People say no. Ah, let me tell you what Ralph Smithley say. No, you are wrong. Why? Because, because you see straight, that doesn't make, doesn't make that it's not even. Even is same pattern. For example, this, when I have these two, there's no, I have three patterns. This is just one. This is good. Now, let me show you my home. Enjoy. I have things from all the countries Antonia mentioned. I have all of these. Ah, there's the stairs. I, I have a mess over there. I make my bed, but I didn't find, fix that. So let me move around my home a little bit of what I have here, some masks from around the wall. Here I am in the second floor. Now I am moving to another room. Now I'm going to put my computer in a place I prepare for you. And let me put back my camera. Huh. Now you can see another background. Do you see the background? 
Do you think it's even? Let me see if I didn't turn on my volume. You can open your mics and freely doesn't, it is important to hear you because I'm not going to read the chat. Come on. That will be quite difficult for me doing all that kind of things. So I prefer you open the microphone, say yes, no, you. No. No. No, it's no good. Yes. No. Why? It's just distracting. Because you've got a picture coming out your head. Oh. Yeah. You've got your head. I want to know so, what the picture is. Exactly. So now I have a picture. But okay. Can I do this? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Better. Perfect. That's that. That's it was so difficult. Yeah. yeah. Yes. It, it was Much difficult better. to pull it out. Much better. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> So, it didn't take too much from me to take out a frame from Argentina. Yeah. Tango. Now, I pull it off. I like it, but I have to pull it off. Why? Because if I am speaking to you about the four keys of making your presentation better, and I have a frame over there, you're going to be looking at the frame, part of your, your great part between your, your ears will be processing information about what is that? Uh, it will be from Argentina or Uruguay or South of Brazil or what? Uh, and, and I'm going to try to, to pass you to communicate you a message and I cannot do that because I have a frame. So, for example, Don has some curtains that are really nice. I have red, I see blue, I see pink. Also I see like a small, oh, mosquito. I see like a small speaker. Also I have, I see some items over there. Like Annie, Annie, and it has also a small frame over there, but I cannot realize who it is. And also, huh, there's a, like a bookshelf on her right. Oh, uh, uh, I see. Trotty has many distractors. Now she's very nice on the hair. That's not the problem. The problem is all what she has on the back and so on. Ah, Ruth, you are making my, my presentation better just my, by moving. Thank you. Ruth didn't want me to see her mess. I don't know if she has a mess. Now it's too late for me to see it, but she fixed it by moving. She is willing to feel the discomfort. Now, let me tell you about another, let's see. What do you think about? Huh. This background. Yep. It's yep. even, yep. even though it is not yep. even because of yep. the pattern. You can see the pattern, but it's even. So yes. remind me when, remind, uh, remind, remind about Arthur Ashe quote, use what you have. Since we are in our homes, with yeah, low possibilities of getting out, you have to do your best using what you have. So behind me can be a small piece of wall, could be the doors of your closet, could be a door like this one I just showed you. This is a door, I'm going to prove it. This is a door. Here you can see, See? So a door will do it. We don't need too much space. We just need a narrow space that will make us eliminate all distractions. Now, when we have about the background, now you can see my shirt. It looks good. No, you need a pink one on. No. Work here. Yeah, it's good. Lack yeah. of contrast. 
Exactly. Babani, exactly. Contrast is the key word. So if we have a dark like that over there before, over there, dark, then this chart is, is nice. But if I'm going to present in a light background like root, so I have to do something different. Let's say this. How about it? Better? Yes. Now, better. See my hands. You can see my hand because of my arm, because of this. See? It's better. So if I have distractions and I put my frame back and I move here, then maybe I can lose my arm. You see? Here. I don't lose it. I'm here. I move it. So we have covered the first background. But hey, who is on a cell phone? Ah, Larry Lyons is in a cell phone moving around. Perfect. When you are using a cell phone, let me tell you that cell phones has better quality, better video quality than computers. Also, it has better reception, especially if the internet at your home goes away because of light or problems, because you didn't pay the bill, I don't know. Did you pay the bill of electricity? I hope you do. Otherwise, you will lose internet and your computer will not work. But you can do it with your cell phone if you have a prepay or a plan that you are paying. Doesn't matter if light is off, if internet is off, this cell phone will work. But I was telling Ian, he disappeared. Or Larry, was Larry, Larry. Let me see if I have someone else on the cell phone. Ah, Marisol Cosquillo, excellent. Now, the idea of using a cell phone is to use it in not vertical, horizontal. You can contest in a cell phone. Sometimes it's more secure in terms of quality and, and internet than a computer. But if you use vertical, the cell phone, you will not be able to move around the screen. Do you know that in the contest, of course, we all, all of us must know or will know or should know that there is a stage, a part that we can move around and should be the same for everybody. So that takes me to the second key factor. First background, second will be distance. Distance is the second key element. Why? Because I witnessed many people contesting. See, and if they do some movement, I barely see you. I barely see the movement because they're so close, like right now I am, that you cannot see if I'm moving. And that, according to a study made on the late 60s by Moravian, he said that 55% of communication is through the language, the body language. 38% is voice, and just 7% are the words you are saying. So, if I don't move and you just see my, my face, you will not be able to get all the message. So, this is not true. Okay, <laughs> no problem. Just a study somebody else did. I didn't do it. <laughs> I just communicating. Now, the important thing is that anyway, language speaks a lot. So what Postmaster International recommends for contest is very simple. It's from the waist, from, from the belt, let's say, to the top of your head. 
No, something like this. Let me see, do my best here. I move here. I am uh, kind of I'm here. You can see my elbows. And this is my speaking area. Then I can put a small piece of post, uh, a small post-it on the, on the floor to mark the center. Then I can put another one like over here. So I can do this and move to the moon. And you can see in my movements, I have space to do it. And I mark over, over my right. And then I move to my left. I can mark in a floor with a chair, with a post-it, with whatever you want. And then you have your presentation, your speaking area, your presentation area. So you can move like you were in front of people. You don't have to be still. Now you can move. And if you can see my, from my waist to the top, then you will be able to communicate better your message, much better. So let me see who is doing something about that. I was, ah, Gavin, uh, Gavin, hey, Gavin is, uh, but are you sit or stand up? Sitting. Sitting, ah, but you put uh, away. You are very comfortable, but whatever, you can see from your waist up. So that's good, but it's difficult to do it to move around unless your chair has wheels. Ah, oh. <laughs> there's always a trick over there. Now, let's go back to Ruth. She, does she find a right place? Ah, Sarina, excellent. Okay, Sarina, go a little back. Excellent. That will be a, a very nice distance, what Sarina is doing. Let's say uh, uh, Natalia is going to move, apparently, uh, some uh, Ruth. Okay. Ah, Ruth R Ribeiro. Yes. Yeah, we have a big distractor. Nice distractor. But you don't have to pull it off. The idea is to, yeah, you will have it if you're a contestant. Uh, just in that case, or you're presenting. Uh, Andy, I, I don't want you to sleep. Come on. Uh, who else? Let's see. Oh, Serena is a very good example. She has a nice, even background. She has some clothes that contrast, and she pulled out the nice plant. Now she can compete. She is winning right now. Now, Andy Blake is still thinking, uh, do I move or not? Meanwhile, Ruth is making some noise at her home. See, I have my wall. I can pull out that frame and I can do better. Uh, Andy, thank you. That's uh, very nice. Yes, yes, Andy. Uh, even, his chair has wheels. <laughs> he didn't stand up. But OK, he has the background. Now the distance, Andy, Margot, okay, go. Ah, perfect, Margot, or oh, Margot. I, sorry my pronunciation. That's a good distance, Margot. Now let's see who else is playing so I can give some feedback. Let me see. Ah, Chris Bowden. Uh, you were on my next screen, sorry. I didn't see you, but now I see you on the, my right left corner and you are just perfectly fine another good example ah uh, Anne O'Callaghan great you can see from the waist to the top with a little space a little space over here uh, Christian has a background virtual background that's the reason of funny movements but that makes like salt and, and pepper to the soup that we are making so Let's see Tom Print. Ah, Tom Print, very good, but you will have to change your shirt for something darker. I think that will be easier than changing the background. <laughs> I think so. Haritosh, great, but a little lower your angle of your camera, Haritosh. The angle. Uh, a little bit more. Okay. 
Ah, perfect. No, no, that far. Come forward, come forward. Oh, okay. More, right. that, that will be your center. That will be your center. So you can move back, you can move forward, you can move one side to the other one. So give some space on the back because if you're talking about the past, you can move to the past. If you and make some space to the front, so you can move to the front. So Harchish Lakan Lakan, sorry my pronunciation again, but you look great over there. Let's see. Okay, Haritosh, great. Uh, Lakan, great. Uh, with that hoodie, nice. Chris Borden, Tom Print, excellent, all of you. Now, Craig, Craig Newman. With you, I will go back because we have the third element. We just handle background and we handle this. But how about height? Now, we want height. Why we want height? Because of this. See me. See, let me change the screen so I can a little bit see myself. Okay, how do you see my eye contact? From bottom to top. Do that is good or do you think this is better? Which one? This one or the other one? This one. This one now. Now, let me show you what I did. Now, before, let me show you, I have my pan, or I forget the right name over there. Antonia? Pen. Ah, pen. Yes, that one. I have this. I can use it, but I have all, all other items. I have a, a box I can use. It's empty, don't worry. I drink it already. I have a can. It's, it's, it's clean, right, very clean. I can use it in this way. These items, put it in different ways, and I can put my computer on the top. So I can raise it. What is the, the purpose of this? To raise your computer. Books can give you a uh, fine toning, but meanwhile, you can use a box, uh, a pan, and you can do like this, put it on a table, and then you can put your computer on the top. Now, let me tell you what I did. I have two tables in order to do this. If I'm going to, to present at my work, or present in some in some other audience, I will do it here, right now. I am ready, but I'm going to show you the, what I did. Now, let's see if I can show you. We have, let me see. Okay, here we have a, a, a table. See, you see, a table? That's an, a table to put beside your bed or to watch a movie and put the popcorn or your wine or beer, I have here. And then I put over, you see, another, another table that is different, but you can see it. You see, the being, the, the first one, and then the second one. I'm not, I'm not right. Hmm. See, I start, there's me, my computer, here is you, and here we have, two tables, one where is my computer, over the top of another table that you can see over there, see? Now, this is important because it's like when we are talking, it's important to see the people's eyes. But now, if we, I want to see the people's eyes, I will have to see each of you, like Rinko has a beautiful eyes, but, if I see her, if I see Trudy or wh whoever else, I will not be able to see the camera. So when we are presenting, the fun part is that when we go to the distance from the waist to the top, 
everybody is so small. So I eliminate all by pin the timer. <laughs> that will do it. And I pin the timer. And the timer usually is not fun. <laughs> it's just a screen with change colors. By the way, someone would tell me when I am in 40 minutes, 45 and 50, I will really appreciate it. I left my cell phone with the chronometer downstairs. <laughs> so I will go get back to that. But the important thing is the camera will be at the height of your eyes. Let's see, for example, Larry Lyons. Larry Lyons is from the bottom to the top. That would not be a good idea to present in, in that manner. So if he wants to present, he will have to raise the camera to the height of his eyes. In that way, he can speak directly seeing the camera. Now, when we are talking presenting, I can do here, at, I can put a chart or something if I want to, to do it. But if I'm presenting here and I eliminate all of them just by ping or fixing the timer, then I see the timer and I see the little green or red or whatever color is your camera. If you are in a cell phone, you will not have the light, but you know where is the camera. And to put a camera of your cell phone steady, you will have to use, I don't know, some things to hold it, but be sure to raise it as much as possible so he can be at the height of your eyes. Let's see which cameras we have with background, with distance, and with high. Let's see, Harry Tosh is doing a great job. Perfect, Harry Tosh, a little lower the angle, lower the angle a little bit, Harry Tosh. Ruth is back in business. Very good, Harry Tosh. Now let's see Ruth. Uh, ah, Trudy is working, yes. Ah, perfect, Trudy, um, but you have to put, if you have a laptop, no, no don't, don't worry about the frames. Don't worry about the frames, the frames Trudy. But you will have, no, no, don't worry now. If you're contestant, yes, you will have to put them away. But since you're not contestant right now, you just have to put something below the laptop so the laptop or your camera will raise to a higher point because right now I see you from bottom to the top. Now let's see uh, Bahami. Bahami, you have nice background so far. You have a nice contrast, uh, but I see you a little boring, sorry. Uh, what can I do to feel, to make you feel better? Okay, let's see. Uh, meanwhile, you, you answer me. Let's go to Chris Borden. Chris has excellent uh, eye contact, I guess. I see it right. I see nice distance. I see nice background. Sarina, you're too close. Too close. Ah, perfect. That's a nice high. Now you can get back. Yes, Chris, you too. Mark God, uh, perfect. Over there, you just have to, to have like some, some sleeves darker. So your arms, your arm, no, no, not now. You were not prepared for that. But for a contest or presentation, something darker on and sleeves. Uh, Trudy, excellent. Nice work. Now, let me see who is um, Ruth from bottom to top. You have to work the height, please, if you are a contestant. Uh, let's see the other screen. Uh, her sheet is very comfortable in their sheet. His right height. If he stands up, he will have to uh, have the computer raise up. Christian Collinson, you're too far away. Get closer. Ah, that, ah, perfect, perfect. That, that will do it. A little bit, a little, some books below could help a, a little bit more. And I think for the moment, we, we just discuss or told you about these three factors, background, distance, and height. Now I'm going to tell you about the fourth one. The fourth one is lighting. Lighting. Lighting, according to TMI, should be behind the camera. 
And believe me, all what I'm telling you that I get from, from the, the headquarters, this is, I tested by seeing people in videos, in workshops, in conferences, in lectures. And I, these guys, they are really good. The, I mean, what I'm telling you is the guys from, from uh, the headquarters because they make, I just synthesize it in these four elements, but they are really work. When, when you are talking, it's easier to get through, to pass your message through. So here I have also a lamp, a desktop lamp. Let me show you my lamp. Let me see, I see, you see my lamp? Yeah, here, here, uh, of course, you see it, you see? My lamp. So I can turn it on and see if I improve or not. So far, I have the light of my, of the room on. Then I can do this. And I don't know, you tell me if I look better. Who says yes or who says no? Yes. Thank you. Snowy. Thank you. Somebody. Yes, somebody looks better. But if I put too much, see the effect. For example, this will be too much. Yeah. So I can reduce it and can be made by also a portable light that you can plug in in the USB of your computer that, let me see, is not expensive and can help. Yeah, kind of, can help. So there's also like a camera, USB camera, so you can move it, are flexible, like I'm doing, I, I'm not doing my computer, you see, this is my computer. And with a camera that is USB connected, it's not really expensive and you have, a lot of flexibility, like a cell phone too. Rinku, I see you from bottom to the top, but uh, distance is a little closer, 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 closer Rinka, Rinku, okay. Now you just have to raise your computer or your camera. So I can see you like not from top to bottom, you have to put below. I can, I can borrow you this, do you need it? Here. Take it. Yeah, you didn't like it, okay. No problem. But that are the four elements. Lighting is important so we can see the facial gestures we made. Rinko, you are too far. You have to get closer and raise your computer. Ba Babani, perfect, but really nice. Really nice, good job. Trudy, perfect. Just a little closer, Trudy, Trudy a little closer. That, that will do it, that will do it, yes, yes. Um, let me see who else. I know Chris is an expert, Chris Bowden, Serena also rocks. Very well, you really are really good. So let me see who else is working. So ah, Alexander, finally see you. Now you have a nice, but a nice background, but I can see the edge with the ceiling. So you will have to raise your computer and then lower the angle. Raise your computer, lower the angle, so you can see at the same height your camera, like you, if you were seeing a people, a somebody. Luis, we have a question on how do you fix the light reflecting on glasses? Ah, Take thank you. Get contact lenses. <laughs> See this? I did this because of the question. See, pins. So, some of us likes to wear pins, but pins, pens, and some kind of earrings, uh, women, and glasses can be a problem with the light, especially if they are recording the contest because will be like a flash and nobody can see that and you are also making a distraction. Uh, what pin is that? It will be Rotary or will be Toastmaster? Uh, if he is a member of both and you, and the message is 
flying away. You're not seeing and captain, hearing the message because you are thinking on the pin. It is Toastmaster, will be from uh, DTM or where leaders are made or, or what pin he's using. And then message is gone. So let's eliminate all of these items you can. Glasses, especially international speech contest where they are recorded because to the next stage, next stage, next stage, you have to do it like, if you don't see it really well, do your effort to do it with your eyes open, even though you don't see. Tell somebody to, to help you and maybe in your stage area, your speaking area, instead of putting a post-it, put a chair so you can, ah, I crash the chair, the other chair in front and back, so you will like in a small square if you have glasses and you have very bad um, seeing. Now, if you see a little, uh, I don't know, like you distinguish colors and I see a shadow here over there, that works because you, the only thing you need to see is the light of the camera and the light of the timer, basically. Then once you finish, you put it back. Now, it's a suggestion. If you don't want, it's, it's just a suggestion. You don't do it. But you may be lucky. That depends also on the light you're using and the recording. If, you if we have something that shines or not against our own speech. Now, also it's important when you do a speech to do it accordingly to the event. If you go to a wedding, you don't go in shorts or yes, or in a bad suit. No, you go formal. If we, we are going to contest or to do a presentation, let's do it accordingly to your speech or to your audience. Now, if I'm, if I'm telling you a story of cowboys, yes, I can use a hat of a cowboy. If I'm working in a construction, I'm telling you an analogy, I can do this. Yes, you can use a teacher of Superman if you're talking about heroes, but depends of the audience and your message. Now, let me go back to my room downstairs. Let me walk just to wrap up the four elements that is background, distance, height, and lighting. Now, let me give you some other tips that will help you in the time that we contest. See, I'm going to raise my computer by putting this book below. See, book, huh? I put it below, it's from Pancho Villa, it's heavy, put it over there and then I can accommodate to have a little bit better eye contact. When I started, I didn't put it, now I have it. So, some last tips that you can use when you are presenting. First, have your platform, Zoom in, in this case, updated. Make sure you update the platform the day before and in more than one device. If computer crash, at least have your cell phone, yellow. <laughs> I am with you, Antonia, oops. Have the more than one device, the platform updated. Now, that's the first one. Second, put yourself privately in some space as close as possible to your modem. As close as possible to your modem. Now, you can see it, Rinku, please, 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 please. Uh, Natalia, sit down. You did great, uh, even though you have a virtual background. Natalia Garibay. No? Is real? Whoa. Ah, I see. Now, but you can rest, you can sit. Bahami, Trudy, sit, 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 relax. Thank you, thank you for standing up, for feeling a little uncomfortable, no problem. Thank you, thank you. Now, 
as close as possible to a modern modem and avoiding a possible person uh, walking behind you or the dog barking or put the dogs away or tell your son, your daughter to give them a walk, a big walk, at least of the time of your presentation. I don't know, it's creativity, creativity, just that, no more. Or ask the neighbor to, to take care of him for a couple of minutes, giving, uh, uh, I don't know, some, uh, I don't know the, ah, um, oh, I forgot the name. Okay, in US will be dollars, in Mexico pesos, over there, uh, Europe, uh, coins, whatever. So just be creative. Now, try that nobody use at your home the internet. For example, people like me, that we have kids, I have a one that is 24, and he likes to play games on the internet. So if he is playing internet, meanwhile, I am presenting, who is going to get more internet? It's a bet, and I can lose. So my son cannot play, meanwhile, I am presenting. In a meeting, it's not a problem. But presenting, come on, there's no internet for anybody. Not Netflix for my wife, not video games for my kid, and just for my presentation. After that, no problem. Now, have your chargers ready. I have here the one from my cell phone. So if my computer disconnects, I have my cell phone ready, charge, but also I have the charger. Also, I have the charger of the computer. Here, I have the charger ready and connected. I plug, I unplug, but I have ready. I have an extension close. From the other room, I have two extensions, all connected. If, some, if, if one doesn't work, I use the other one. Another important thing when you are speaking in camera, don't move too fast. Because if you're moving too fast, if you and your video quality is not really good, you're going to uh, it doesn't look good doesn't look good. So when you move, don't move too fast. Just move a little slower than you used to. I want to tell you, and I move a little slower. All right, and avoid shiny things as I told you. And the most important thing, you can have the background, you can have the distance, you can have the height, you can have the lighting, you can have a good message. But if you don't have enthusiasm, energy, your message will not get through. Will not get through. And as that, I would like to remind you, uh, modify words by me of Coco Chanel. A clear message, and a good image is prerogative of those who have already taken possession of their future. Thank you so much, Marie. Wow, wasn't that something? Let's all... Uh, unmute ourselves and give Luis a huge round of applause. Bravo. Now, if Christian could just pop... Now you can minute. open your cameras. If Christian I'm not going to tell you anything. <laughs> oh, that's it. If Christian, that's it. Christian has just popped a link in the chat. If you could just take one minute to copy that into the browser and just give Luis a little bit of feedback. Thank you. It would be really appreciated. Everybody who speaks likes to have some feedback. Uh, yeah, could I say? <laughs> In the absence of anybody else saying anything, I'll, I'll say something. Uh, that was absolutely brilliant, Lewis. It was very entertaining, very informative. Uh, I have to kind of declare an interest. Um, I'm a broadcast television technologist. 
um, and pretty much everything that you said is, is spot on. Um, and, just... is, and is what, um, what, what we do in television, stuff about eye line or all this kind of thing, uh, eye level one third up, you know, it's, it's all what we tell people in television. And if it works yeah. for television, it's going to work for this as well. Fantastic. Thank so you, there's, Kate. A, there's a link in the chat, and if you could just pop pop your comments what on that speak? on that feedback uh, form, and then we'll we'll collate them and send them all to Luis, and he's got them for posterity. Thank you. Might just Luis, have to a question for you. Can I ask a question, Antonia? Uh, absolutely. A question for you, Luis. It's Pat. Um, you noticed I wasn't moving around. That's because I'm in a wheelchair. Um, how, you, when, how, do you, how do you deal with that? You know, because you can't go, you know, you can't move actually because without losing your, your, your without using your hands, how do you, how do you, how should I, how should I think about that? That's a, of course a very nice question. First is, is um, depends on the creativity of you and all the people around you that can help you. First is creativity. Now, what I might suggest, Okay, for example, you have a nice bookshelf over there. Like that can be a background because even though you have um, many books or I don't know what, what you have over there, if you are far from there, will not be like distracted like if you were close, trying people to see the, your titles. So first is to go a little uh, far from, from your bookshelf. That can be a, a nice background. Now, on the wheelchair, for example, right now, in that moment, if you can, if you can do this, do it. Perfect. Now, uh, exactly like that. That will be your distance. You will not show your your chair, but you can do this and do a little movement, of course, with your body and your expertise on the wheelchair. You know, but that distance will work. The important thing is that people see your some some of your body language. Sure. If we are too close, we just see has gestures. But if you are in like this distance, in that moment, uh, you can see we can see gestures and body language. That will be my recommendation. And put something dark, because uh, you are uh, light right now. The blue something darker, like a military green or king blue or something darker. That just like that. Okay. Thank you, Luis. Thank you, Thank you Pat. Thank you. Can I ask a question? Go ahead. I was just wondering about the shadow. I find it a bit off-putting, especially when you start to use hand gestures. What do you think about that? Is there a way of doing something for that? Okay, Keith will, will tell us what to do with the shadows. But I think uh, just using what we have in our own homes, it's difficult to control shadows. Uh, if you have it just in front of you and it's not really high, you will not have a shadow. And if you have from one side, so that means that you, you need or of course to turn it off or to turn another light on the other side. Mm -hmm. So we we'll equally and maybe disappear. But Keith, what do you think about the shadows at home? Uh, right, so the, the, the issue there is that most of the light is coming from the front. Uh, which is good because it highlights the face. But the way we will deal with this in television lighting is to also throw light directly onto the background to control the brightness of that. Um, and the shadow won't be cast against the background if the background is further away. So the further away the wall is, the, the better. But also the further away the wall is, the less you'll get echo. So being able to be distant from the wall will also improve the audio. Thank you, Kate. Thank you. He answered better than me. Thank you, Sarina, for your question. Thank you. Hello. Larry. Hello? Larry, yes, hi. Yeah, it's hi, uh, Antonia. Thanks very much. And Louise, Louis, isn't it? Hey, just one question in relation to the f using a phone. You said to put it horizontal. Therefore, isn't the camera, isn't the camera going to be at the side? You understand my question? No, no. Could you repeat it, please? If I put the you said to put the camera horizontally. Yes. So the the camera then will be at the side and sort of at the top. Yes. Does that affect eye level? 
or you you just have to raise your cell phone. For example, here is my camera. Yeah. And if I put it like this, it will be okay. Now, if I put it like this, the camera will be here. It's down. So I will okay. have to raise it a little more to okay, be to, yeah. the, to the high of my eyes. Okay. And does it affect the size of the picture compared to a computer? No, same. same it's thing. a little, if you put it horizontal, it's just uh, slightly less, but you, can, you, you, you will have space to move. Okay, thank you. And you have more, more quality video in most of the cases. Thanks. One thing, one thing you can consider, Larry, is I have a ring light, which is, I think, 12 inches wide, 12 inches diameter. And in the yes. middle, there's a space for putting a mobile phone, whether it's vertical or horizontal, you can swing it round. So if you are filming onto a phone or, or talking onto a phone, you can put it there and have the light all around so it's really good light. Okay, and a ring thanks. light's not expensive. I think mine was about 25 pounds. Okay, thanks, Antonia. Luis, does it matter whether you use front or back camera? Usually, this one is the, the good one because if you see it like this, you will, you will not be able to see it, but usually they have less quality. In this, like you're taking a picture, has more quality. So you will have to do it like this. If I am presenting, that will be, so I, I am like taking my picture of myself, but with the highest quality uh, picture. Like a selfie. Of course, you will have to have a, an hour timer because you will not be able to pin it. If you don't have a, 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 um, an hour timer that you can put below, uh, besides, then you have to do it uh, this way so you can pin. Sure. Okay. Dur during daylight, you may not need a, a, light, a background light at all. If you have a good bright room, correct? Correct. Correct. Just make sure uh, you, don't, you don't have windows be, uh, behind you. Yeah. Because okay. windows behind you <laughs> makes things awful. You will see it dark and, I will, and nobody can see your gestures. So try just to move around uh, <laughs> windows in front of you, not back. Hi, hi everyone from Lima, Peru. This is Ruben. Hello, Ruben. Uh, Hi, thanks, Ruben. Elena and Luis, for this wonderful speech. I just have a question. Luis, what about the background, the background images? I see some disruption in the camera images when you just move your hands and your head, so you have some effects there. So I always recommend my fellow Toastmasters not to use background images while giving a speech. What do you think about it? Exactly. That's one of the things we talk about, about when we talk about background. One is the more even as possible and eliminate visual backgrounds. It's not a rule, but it's a suggestion that the TMI does to us in order to contest and to get our message through uh, better to the other people. So avoid, avoid as much as possible visual backgrounds. Ruben, you missed the first part of uh, Luis's presentation. He talked about that very subject. Thank yes. you. It's evident. So, I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> so when, no uh, when we have the, the uh, recording available, you can see all his, his good points right from the start. Yes, no problem. No problem, Ruben. Thank you for your question. What, what I would say, uh, just throwing something in, is if you, if you really want to go to town, get a green screen background, get a high quality camera, a very powerful computer, and then you, can, then you won't suffer from those problems. And it also allows you to do things like having a slideshow in the background. I've done that before now, doing like a weatherman type presentation mm -hmm. um, where my information was on my background. Uh, and so I was going through that kind of like a weatherman. Mm -hmm. right, so that, that works, but you do need to spend some money on a green screen and so on. Uh, can I revisit, uh, can I ask a question which you, about something you've already covered, Luis, and thank you very much for um, such a long, uh, comprehensive uh, talk tonight. 
you mentioned about light and uh, Kit, I think, said that you needed to cast light on the background to just generally illuminate the back. Here am I sitting, talking to you from my rather gloomy kitchen. It's evening, there's no light apart from overhead spots and um, a desk lamp. So I can see that, you know, if I want to do anything like this at night again, I have to, if I light my face, obviously there's a massive glare. If I light, it's better if I light the camera itself. What would you recommend if you're going to speak at night to, you know, like this, to get a good even lighting? In my case, uh, of course, I'm going to ask my um, my, my teammate, Kit Barrett, <laughs> but I'm going to, to, to bring it uh, to Mexico. I have a speech, uh, this speech uh, tomorrow, and uh, I will need your help. <laughs> now, what I, what I do when I speak at night is, for example, I'm going to put uh, my camera. I set a, a, a part of my room, and I find a spot that will have a light like this. I have it in this in this space. In the other one is less less bulbs, but there are in front of me. Right now I am in a table that we use to have a lunch, for example, or dinner. It's nice, it's nice. you can see it. Let me see, a little with papers, but you can see. So, and I have that light over there. It's in front of, it's um, on top of me, but in front. So if, right now you can see pretty decent my face and at night it looks the same Alice it doesn't doesn't look bad even though uh, lights uh, like this this uh, window uh, is is completely the same way at night so I will not have this problem and I can see it uh, good but of course I, I have to, to do better than that you see the the frame it is big frame so just find this spot and try to find something like this in front of you or, and that will uh, make you better. Of course, when you sign in a platform, you can see yourself like, for example, Serena looks good. For example, um, someone is a little maybe darker. So you can see if you can find a, a small lamp or like the USB lamp uh, there are many kind of lamps that are not uh, expensive and just for uh, a little money, you can do a much better lighting. And if not, as Arthur Ashe said, just work the best way with what you have at home. <laughs> that will do it. And then a lot of enthusiasm. That's the main key of everything. That Thank lights up everything. Th Thank you very much, Luis. Thank I don't you. know if Kit uh, has something else to say. Uh, yes, you've done an absolutely brilliant job. Thank you, Lewis. <laughs> Thank you, Kit. <laughs> okay, that's fantastic. So we're going to, so we're going to put this recording up on on YouTube as soon as it's all wonderfully edited for you. And I'd like to thank you all for coming. This is Shilling Speakers somewhere in the in the UK South. <laughs> I've put a link to Shilling Speakers uh, next meeting in the chat if you scroll up you'll find it you're very welcome to come and visit us people come from all over the world i think tonight we had something like 13 different countries maybe even more and uh, that's usually well we have about eight countries visit us so do come and visit 14th of october is our next meeting we have three cracking speakers next week and uh thank you all for coming everybody what day is we that, have uh, the, um, so Somebody commented, by the way, in the chat that this was just in time for the area contest. This was not by chance. Luis said, when do your area contest start? I said, well, I don't know about everybody else, but in area A1, it's on the 12th of October. So we found a date when uh, he was available. So there you are. He's come to help us. I hope Tom is still, available, still here, Tom Prince because I know he is in the contest on Monday and Christian is in the contest on Monday. Not that Christian needs any help, but there you are. I'm just biased. <laughs> and so there you are. I hope you've had a brilliant evening and we look forward to seeing you whenever we meet again. So thank you all for coming, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very let's, much let's to give, everybody. Let's give Louise another round of applause before we go.
Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Louise. Thank you, Louise. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, uh, and thank you, so Antonia. Much. And thank you, Chilling, okay. for uh, you. hosting me. It was uh, a pleasure. And uh, thank you for the opportunity to serve. Uh, I you. know we can do better. And uh, we are here to speak and to transmit a message. So this will just help us to make uh, our message go through the other person or go to our audience better. It's not rocket science. It's, it's simple things. We can do it at home. And I realize we can do a lot better by seeing many of, your, of the contests in Mexico, in the UK. And we just with a little adjustments, you can win. And if you don't win a, test, a contest, I'm sure you win experience and you win how to do it better. The important thing is not the messenger, it's the message. Yeah. All right, good luck everybody in your contests. And keep enjoying so much, Antonia. Nice to meet you. Everyone. Keep enjoying Thank your you. Toastmasters journey. Thank you. Thank you, Antonia. Thank you. Okay. See you again soon. Bye, everybody. Thank you, Bye. Bye. Thank, Thank you, everyone. You. Bye. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Thank you, Louise. Bye-bye. Thank you. So, Louise, I'm going to be seeing you next week, right? Hopefully. Uh, Where? <laughs> oh, I, I better not say. Uh, ah, but, okay. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Mm. Yes, don't say. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, but probably yes. <laughs> yeah. If you if you say so, I trust you. No worries. No worries. Uh, so for I, those of you who are still here. I'm going to record the intro again for the purposes of the recording because the recorder was not on. So let me put this on speaker view. So sorry, we'll take the record recording off. Christian, you stop the recording. <laughs>